Hello and welcome to In This Corner. I'm James Smith. Today we pay tribute to the place that every year honors the legends of the sweet science, the International Boxing Hall of Fame in Canastota, New York. The International Boxing Hall of Fame sits 30 minutes outside of Syracuse, New York, in the village of Canastota, home of former welterweight middleweight champion Carmen Basilio and his nephew Billy Backus. The International Boxing Hall of Fame is open year-round, but something very special happens every year in early June since 1990 as the legends of the squared circle gather, mingle, and bump fist with boxing fans from around the country and all over the world as they are recognized and immortalized forever in Canastota at the Hall. Up first, the man who makes it all possible, Executive Director Ed Brophy. It's our tribute to the International Boxing Hall of Fame in Canastota, New York, coming up on In This Corner. Every June, the great names in boxing, past and present, come together for a fantastic week in Canastota, New York, for the annual induction ceremonies at the International Boxing Hall of Fame. The legends of the sweet science gather and bump fists with boxing fans from around the country and all over the world as they are recognized and immortalized forever in Canastota at the Hall. It's the International Boxing Hall of Fame weekend induction ceremonies every June in Canastota, New York. Inside the museum at the International Boxing Hall of Fame, some of the great memorabilia of the pugilistic world. Let's take a look at some of it. Championship belts all throughout this tremendous museum. Here's a guy who uh, did an entire show with me, one of the most popular fighters of his time, kind of an Oscar De La Hoya before Oscar De La Hoya, Carlos Palomino. The fist casting is something that's a big part of the induction ceremony weekend, and uh, to look at some of the different uh, fists that are in here and, and compare the sizes uh, is quite interesting. Everybody knows that guy, one of the great fighters of all time, a guy that I met at the age of 13, the greatest, Muhammad Ali, his arch rival, Smokin' Joe Frazier. Oh, there's Big George Foreman, one of the great punchers in the history of uh, boxing. Oldest heavyweight champion ever. And a guy who obviously will be forever linked with Joe Frazier for the down goes Frazier when he captured the title. And of course the rumble in the jungle when Muhammad Ali was able to tire him out and then knock him out. One of the most feared men in the history of boxing, Sonny Liston. Big favorite to beat the then Cassius Clay. But in my hometown of Miami, at Miami Beach, Ali pulled off the upset. But Sonny Liston, you ask uh, old guys in the sport, man, when he was on top of his game, he was a monster. One of the most powerful jabs in the history of the sport. The selection, it's such an honor to be here in Canastota for the guys that are selected. But that has to be a very difficult task selecting these guys. You, you guys do a, a heck of a job with it, but boxing with the history that it has and the fact that it's, it's a renegade sport, we, you, you have, the research you have to do, tell us about how these guys, it's obvious an Ali and a Frazier and those kind of guys, but how are, how are these other guys from you know, uh, 50, 60, 100 years ago selected? Well, it's interesting you mentioned the names like Ali and Frazier, the popular names. And every so often in boxing, like other sports, Hall of Fames have popular names going into the Hall of Fame. But there's other names that have contributed and made achievements uh, just e to equal level. Uh, and they, too, are deserving to be elected in the Hall of Fame. And some of those names maybe are not recognizable to the general sports fan or maybe the general boxing fan. But that's where the historians of the Hall of Fame spend a lot of time and into the archives and studying uh, those who have excelled in their particular uh, category, whether they're an old timer or a pioneer or a modern, or maybe the non-participants, like the referees, the trainers, uh, or maybe the observer category, the broadcasters, the writers, the screenwriters. So there's a lot of research by a committee of historians. And then once uh, the names are on the ballot, uh, the ballots are sent out to boxing writers and historians from around the world. Uh, we came up with a criteria similar to baseball, football, and basketball, and some of the other major sports. In early years, we received their criteria and kind of adopted the format. And uh, there's the same procedure. You must be retired five years if you're a boxer, just like a baseball player, before you're eligible. 
Uh, but we were very proud of our election process and the credibility of having an election process that's credible is it really gains the importance of being elected in the Hall of Fame. So those who get elected in the Hall of Fame uh, are very overwhelmed and excited to receive that honor because of the credibility. And that's A number one for the Boxing Hall of Fame, it always been from the beginning, that it must be credible, it must uh, be well established, it must have a procedure, and it must follow it year after year, and it must be documented uh, by the historians and then voted by the boxing writers. So every year in the fall of the year is when the election process uh, 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 is conducted and always in early December is the exciting press conference when everybody waits for who the class is going to be for the following year in June. You know the reason again that those of us who actually really know the sport are are so proud of what you guys do is back in the past uh, there were so many guys who weren't ever champions who deserve to be and are here in the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Today's game is a little different. There are champions who probably never will get in here because of the criteria and the way you guys, and I think for those of us who really understand and know this sport, you know, we appreciate that selection uh, you know, committee and the way they do their job. It's, a, it's a, a, a very interesting, as you mentioned, some non-champions. You take a, a Billy Graham, the uncrowned welterweight champion of the 50s, been elected in the Hall of Fame. A Charlie Burley, been elected in the Hall of Fame. You don't have to be a champion, but if your record shows that you fought the top of your you're, you have fought the top uh, opponents and fought champions and, and, and continuously did that in your career. You might have not won the title, but you reached Hall of Fame status level and you're deserving to be on the ballot to be uh, 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 possibly elected uh, into the Hall of Fame. And a Billy Graham, a Charlie Burley, and a few others have done that. So uh, it's uh, open for not just the champions, it's really it's what the record and the achievements are. And uh, that's why it's nice when you walk down that Hall of Fame wall and look at all the plaques and the bios and you read the history of, of those who have excelled back to the pioneer fighters. And you really learn a lot of boxing and, and there's so much time that's spent by boxing fans looking at the plaques and reading the bios. And when they walk out of the museum, they really have learned so much more of the sport, of the names they didn't know that excelled back in the early years of boxing. They became more knowledgeable of the bare knuckle fighters or the old timers. And uh, that's something that we feel very good about. And uh, it's, it's, it's an exciting museum to visit for anyone. They learn a lot of the sport and it's entertaining. And we invite people to come to the museum seven days a week, year round. The museum is always open. So a lot of displays and a lot of great uh, bios to read on the great uh, boxes of yesterday. Every June, the great names in boxing, past and present, come together for a fantastic week in Canastota, New York, for the annual induction ceremonies at the International Boxing Hall of Fame. The legends of the sweet science gather and bump fists with boxing fans from around the country and all over the world as they are recognized and immortalized forever in Canastota at the Hall. It's the International Boxing Hall of Fame weekend induction ceremonies every June in Canastota, New York. James Smith in Canastota, New York at the International Boxing Hall of Fame where the greats of the sweet science are honored here in upstate New York. One of the things I always did when I fought was I, I looked good. I mean, I cared about being a picture of sartorial splendor before I, I got inside the ring. So I like to think about, you know, the attire of what the guys uh, wear. You could see a, a Pepino Cuevas and, of course, Ruben Olivares, their robes, a couple of great Mexican champions. And then you got the, the more conservative guy, but boy, did he uh, have a lot of heart, the late, great Arturo Gatti. To just sit back at Graziano's and watch these guys, who some of whom beat the heck out of each other in the ring more than once, will sit and talk. And the camaraderie yes. between fighters, I always call fighters the most common and uncommon of all athletes. And, you know, just to watch them interact and what this is really, this, this International Boxing Hall of Fame has been a way for these guys to, to get a chance and show that uh, what they really feel for each other uh, once their careers are over. Yeah, and we've seen it so many times. Uh, Alexa Arguello and Aaron Pryor uh, have a great time on the induction grounds, doing ringside chats, signing autographs, hugging each other. At Graziano's uh, restaurant at night, uh, see them enjoying on the dance floor uh, with different uh, 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 friends of the Hall of Fame and just celebrating the sport of boxing and those two just putting their arms around each other and 
uh, saying let's celebrate the sport of boxing. Gene Former, Carmen Basilio, great wars they had. Always great friends and always reunite here in Canastota. And the list goes on and on of those who had gr great fights, warriors, walked out of the ring, maybe not talking to each other or upset with a fight. But boy, somehow when they reunite in Canastota, they, if they hadn't become friends, they become friends. And it's a tradition that continues. Very important to all fighters, mouthpieces. Some of the great fighters of all time, Wilfredo, Benitez, Tommy Loughran, the Macho Man, Hector. I don't, they needed a bigger mouthpiece for Macho Camacho because he, he uh, spoke even when he fought. You, know, you never know who you might uh, run into at the International right. Boxing Hall of Fame at the uh, museum. Artifacts, legends. Speaking of artifacts and legends, uh, the now uh, Hall of Famer, Al Bernstein. I think there was an insult wrapped up in that compliment. Well, you know that's got to be part of the deal with Smitty. Artifacts are pretty old, aren't they? <laughs> we always say a boxing fan has boxing in their blood. And boy, in Canastota, boxing fans that come to Canastota, especially during the Hall of Fame weekend, they all have boxing in their blood, and they just love talking boxing. And that's why it's important to have a Hall of Fame, to gather, to reunite, and to share the spirit of boxing and, the, and to celebrate the sport, which is the greatest sport there is, boxing. What uh, are your goals the rest of the way for the Boxing Hall of Fame here in Canastota? What we envision here at the Hall of Fame is a, is a larger museum uh, that would display all the artifacts that we have and have room for more artifacts to be displayed. We envision a museum that has a, um, uh, um, a, a library that uh, um, is um, available for the public to learn the sport going back to the beginning of time. They now learn of the sport when they come and we help them with research material, but a, 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 a library that is uh, available to them uh, seven days a week uh, throughout the year. Um, so there's within the facility, we, we were envisioning a larger, a capital um, uh, project that will raise the money needed to make that happen. And over the course of the next three, five years, we hope for that to happen. Uh, we, also, we also envision that the spirit and the excitement of all the volunteers uh, continues to grow because you need the help of your local community and all the many volunteers in the boxing world. So by keeping the word out there and uh, promoting the Hall of Fame, you want to also generate uh, new volunteers and uh, uh, the support from the boxing community. The, the major networks, uh, the major different uh, promoters, uh, those who are just getting started in boxing. Anybody can help out in any particular way, at any particular level, whether it's financially or sending uh, boxing artifacts or opening up doors to, for others to get involved in the Hall of Fame. What we envision for the future is that same enthusiasm by people jumping on board and becoming a partner with the Hall of Fame. And that will help many other things happen with the Hall of Fame in, in growth-wise. But A number one always is the credibility. We envision the credibility of the Hall of Fame to continue to be strong and to continue to grow even stronger and stronger. The Hall of Fame logo, when it's on uh, printed material, when it's in the boxing magazines or it's on the networks or the ring or a ring announcer says that uh, next fighter uh, is someday to be elected in the Hall of Fame. When the word the International Boxing Hall of Fame is echoed out or it's in print, that the credibility and the importance continues to grow larger and larger uh, in, in, in magnitude of importance. And uh, so those are all the goals that we want to continue to try to achieve. And we feel that it's, it continues to go in that direction. And we're excited about it. It's exciting to have a Hall of Fame for any, any sport to have a Hall of Fame. In boxing, it's as equal as important to have a Hall of Fame, to have all those things happening. Boxing deserves it as much as baseball, football, basketball, hockey, swimming, you name the other sport, boxing deserves it just as much and has it, and it should continue to grow just as much as the other Hall of Fames and be the best Hall of Fame of all the Hall of Fames because it represents the best sport there is, and that's the sport of boxing. How do I stack up against uh, Billy Backus, the former a welterweight champion, nephew of Carmen Basilio, a native of uh, Canastota, and so important to really why this whole thing exists here in upstate New York and uh, still a great part of the International Boxing Hall of Fame. So that's a, a semi-tour of the museum. Man, if you're a boxing fan, you got to come check out all the great stuff here inside the museum in Canastota at the International Boxing Hall of Fame.
Every June, the great names in boxing, past and present, come together for a fantastic week in Canastota, New York, for the annual induction ceremonies at the International Boxing Hall of Fame. The legends of the sweet science gather and bump fists with boxing fans from around the country and all over the world as they are recognized and immortalized forever in Canastota at the Hall. It's the International Boxing Hall of Fame weekend induction ceremonies every June in Canastota, New York. Boxers are the most common and uncommon of all athletes, and every June the champions and legends of the sport come together in the picturesque town of Canastota, New York for the annual induction ceremony at the International Boxing Hall of Fame. We had the chance to sit down with some of these great athletes as they share with us what the International Boxing Hall of Fame means to them. What does this mean to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and the camaraderie with these uh, great legends of uh, pugilism? It's, it's, a, it's a great feeling. It's, uh, you know, after it's all said and done, sometimes you want to look at your life and say, was it worth it? But being here at the Hall of Fame and looking at my life, it was worth it. I mean, uh, you know, Alexis Aguero is in the Hall of Fame too, and uh, just one of the greatest guys that I ever met in the ring and outside the ring. Um, you miss him, don't you? Yes, that we, we were good friends. I went to his country. I happened to run for mayor. He ran for mayor, and um, we became very, very, very good friends. I would uh, call him and ask him things that he would personally do for me. Uh, we had a great relationship, and I, uh, I went to his, I went to his country twice, and he took care of me, and I, and I really admired that. We need to celebrate this more. Uh, we need to bring people to it. I'm out here this time with Sky Television, and I'm bringing the crew with me, and we're going to be broadcasting what happens here over this wonderful weekend's celebrations back to the UK and Europe, and we, we shoot, I mean, we're, our stuff is taken all over the world. So it's very important to me as an inductee in 2005 to bring, um, to bring Canastota to the world boxing fans' attention. And it's, it's fantastic, you know, we get some great fighters, Ruben Olivares I spotted, I saw Sergio Martinez, Joe Cortez just here, uh, real Lou Duvo, or Lou, not Lou Duvo, but uh, Lou DeBello over in the, in the hotel. So it's, it's great, and this is only the start. We're here on Thursday, they all start flooding in over the weekend, and this weekend is a pretty special one with Tyson being inducted, and uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, and of course, Kostya Zhu. Kasia, what does it uh, mean to you to be inducted into this year's International Boxing Hall of Fame? When I start my career as a young kid, in my wildest dreams, I never expected to be here. I never actually knew about this. But uh, eventually, when you're starting being recognizable all around the world, when you know that when you jump in the ring, you change some people's lives, uh, it gives you excitement. And then all the belts I won, all the titles I had, all the money I received during my career, it's nothing compared to uh, the love, honest love from the people all around the world, even the places where boxing is not popular. Uh, and I give you some huge boost that anything you did in the past is worth it. It's difficult, hard, but it's worth it. And, uh, and being an example now for my kids, uh, for other kids, um, I just I so enjoy, I'm just so happy that uh, my young life, I'm still 42, uh, done with a purpose. We've had the privilege of being part of the weekend induction ceremonies with our live in-ring demonstrations for the audience in attendance. We laced them up with Kostya Zhu, Aaron Pryor, and Irish Mickey Ward. And the great Sugar Ray Leonard was brave enough to take on one more opponent. I'm like a chess match. I'm thinking of how to get you off balance. I stay here. I stay here. And whatever I do, I do for a reason. When I did this to Durant, although it, it was spontaneous, it was for a reason. It wasn't for fun. It was for a reason. I, you don't train this. It was to set up that jab. Yeah, I didn't know, but I didn't, it was so quick that I didn't know, pow! I didn't know what was going to happen that way, I didn't, and I didn't know he was going to quit. Um, when, I do, when I step here, I step here. I, oh, sorry. It's all right. Sorry. Oh! oh. 
ass back. No moss. No moss. <laughs> but but whatever I do, I do for a reason. What 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 is it about um that all my life um I watch these guys, you know I look at them um it's, it's, you might it's not being arrogant I look at them different than your guys look at them like when um when we see Carmen Basilio and um all the times a gene from all the time um I say who was up there when people say we went to the Hall of Fame somebody was there Bramble was there somebody got inducted and they they say we just came back from the Hall of Fame. And they said, you know, watch out for a Carmen Basilio because, you know, he's always going to go in your pocket and punch you in the ribs. You know what I mean? That silly old man. This, he's a silly old man. But I don't know him like that. I know him as the guy that will fight you to the death to have your blood in his body. <laughs> That's funny because... Um, Every June, the great names in boxing, past and present, come together for a fantastic week in Canastota, New York, for the annual induction ceremonies at the International Boxing Hall of Fame. The legends of the sweet science gather and bump fists with boxing fans from around the country and all over the world as they are recognized and immortalized forever in Canastota at the Hall. It's the International Boxing Hall of Fame weekend induction ceremonies every June in Canastota, New York. If you're a boxing fan, a visit to Canastota and the International Boxing Hall of Fame is highly recommended. But if you're a true boxing fan, a visit to the Hall in June for the annual induction ceremonies is a must. Believe me, something you will never forget. And it can be, like the sport of boxing, very addictive. For you and I, the real boxing fan, let me tell you, there's nothing like being at Graziano's restaurant sitting with a Gene Fulmer and a Carmen Basilio as they talk about their great rivalries against one another. On a personal note, I had the opportunity to do that with Aaron Pryor and the late, great Alexis Arguello sitting there at the pub as they spoke about their two legendary battles. Man, it's an experience I'll never forget, and neither would you. You know, the NFL has Canton, Ohio. The NBA has Springfield, Massachusetts. Major League Baseball, Cooperstown, New York, which incidentally is only about 70 miles from Canastota in the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Come join me there some early June with all the boxing legends. For Fight Now TV, I'm James Smith. You're all fantastic. These men here have always been held in special reverence for me. Greatest athletes in the world, but more than that, they are our connection to the past and our way to the future. They are the guys that go there and take the blows and show that if you really put it out there on the line, you are a champion. You may not be the champion of the world, but you'll be the champion of your life. And yo, Adrian, I did it!